Hello students. In this practical, we will demonstrate that compounds can be products of a decomposition reaction. A reaction in which one substance breaks down into two or more simpler substances is called a decomposition reaction. Energy is required to break chemical bonds. Decomposition involves breaking one or more chemical bonds and therefore occurs only when the required amount of energy is supplied. For this practical, we will use these apparatus. Test tubes, mortar and pestle, a Bunsen burner, single hole stopper with glass tube and rubber tubing, a test tube holder, plaster of Paris, lime water which is diluted solution of calcium hydroxide, and zinc carbonate in solid granular form. Grind a small amount of zinc carbonate using the mortar and pestle into fine powder. Then, take 5 grams of powdered zinc carbonate in a test tube and fix it on an iron stand. Seal the test tube with a single hole stopper. Fix the glass tube in the stopper and seal it with plaster of Paris. Next, put the other end of the glass tube in another test tube fixed on an iron stand. This is filled with lime water. Now, heat the test tube containing zinc carbonate. You will see that after some time, lime water turns milky. It shows the presence of carbon dioxide. This happens because carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium carbonate, which is white and not soluble in water, thereby resulting in a milky appearance. This is a decomposition reaction. Zinc carbonate is decomposed into carbon dioxide and zinc oxide. The key takeaways are Decomposition reaction involves breaking of one or more chemical bonds and occur only when the required amount of energy is supplied. When a compound is heated, it is decomposed into different parts.